Howdy folks, it's New Tool Thursday, and here at Coffee and Tools, we got a new tool in. There's CNC machines that are used at home now, there's 3D prints, I love the 3D printer thing. And there's also this new item here, well, it's, when I say new, it's been around for a while, but it's now, it's like, it's becoming very affordable to own your own uh, engraver and laser that engraves and cuts, cuts, you know, wood and other things. It also engraves in different materials, so... We're gonna take a look at this one here. This one they say is not the small one, it's not a big one, but it has like the best price for the features, so that's kind of like why it's here today. And this is the Ofula, it's the Laser One, and it should be a pretty exciting kit. We're gonna open the box right now, and let's see what we get for our less than $300 from what I'm told. Let's do this. All right, so, uh, like I just wanted to tell you guys about, I've seen some different applications for this. You could sort of like start a small home business, part-time business, something like that. And one of the things that I've seen being made is customized uh, clock faces and stuff where you engrave and do like a, a logo right in the wood and turn it into a clock face with the 12, you know, numbers and cross and all that. It's pretty cool. So we got the box open, top off. From what I've heard, this is a plug-and-play kind of deal, so let's see how good it is. Yeah, it looks like it's really well, well, well packed. We've got different lasers, so we actually have, should be three all together. Uh-oh, uh I do see a problem. Huh. Wow, European power supply. Well, that kind of blew that out of the water, didn't it? Yep. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so there's the three lasers. And we have no way to power this up. Oh, an adopter. Okay, so we have an adopter for a power supply. There we go. <laughs> oh, that is... Man, that is... That is scary. I wonder how they did that. But, yeah, there it is. Mm. That was a shocker. Okay, USB cable for the computer, yeah, because it's like a printer type uh, USB to a USB uh, 3, I guess we'll say 3.0, 2.0, whatever, yeah, good. Got some, uh, something here, I can't tell what it is. Oh, okay, that's the plastic protection. And, oh, different samples of materials to burn into just for, you know, checking out the machine. Got a little brush there, some basic wrenches, and some, looks like maybe, those might be the tie downs for the corners and stuff. Now, one of the most important items that we're going to get into, if I can get them, yeah, if I can get them out of there, wow, this thing is packed tight, so, wow, you gotta be really careful. Yeah, and that's these goggles. You need protective goggles because this is actually a real diode laser that's going to be, you know, doing uh, engraving and cutting and what have you. So, yeah, now we'll cut these three laser heads off. Also have some cardboard in here. This is also really good to, you know, check out with your laser just to practice on cardboard or something to begin with. It's a lot cheaper than destroying wood. Now, let's see, are we ready? The reveal. <laughs> well, we're almost ready. Okay, it looks like it's about ready to come out of the box. It is a beautiful thing, I tell you. Yep, and I've also got, okay, some more cables, and also there's the measurement for the laser itself. That's going to come into play a little later, but it uh, looks like we have uh, some, oh, this is the air, air fitting for, when you're cutting, you actually, sort of like a plasma cutter, you actually hook it to a small, real light, uh, air feed like a compressor or a small pump or something in order to uh, blow, to help blow through as you're cutting material. This looks like it should come out of there. Well, there was nothing in that one. So, but we do have one in here. Let's see if we can get this out. Oh, okay, but I guess the whole box. Okay, so, box be gone. All right. Yeah, and now we still need to be able to get this out of here. And it looks like it's it's looking pretty good. It's got to get it out. Yeah. All right. Ah, here we go. Coming. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's our beast. Yeah. 
Yeah, those clips are what I thought. Yeah, they come off the sides here to bolt in so you can bolt this onto a uh, working platform kind of area. Now, the only problem we got is this guy right here. They've really, boy, did they ever pack that in tight. Just so nobody's confused, I found this at a junk store for about a dollar, and it's some kind of a metal plate off of something, and I thought it'd make a great mount for a laser because obviously I don't want to burn through to something underneath. So I thought, well, if, you know, if we mount the laser, the laser can't obviously go back any further than, than right here. So your work area is from here out to the end. So if I'm if I'm positioned right over this like this and I'm burning my wood here, there's no chance anything's going to go through and say hit a table or hopefully nothing underneath this. You could mount this probably to a piece of lumber or uh, something with a you know good coating on it would probably be okay. Anyways, the electrical connections there's just two a little push here and then we screw the connector on here. And also I slid this down onto, this just mounts on the end here. At this point, it's just loose because I have to set the distance up for the laser from where it's gonna hit to where the actual diode laser is. So we'll be tuning that in with one of these bad boys shortly. But until we get to that point, we're just setting up. And like I said, it's, there's really not much assembly here going on other than make sure you put these on, absolutely. And also uh, no children, no adolescents, just adult supervision at all times. And there's a lot of safety warnings about keeping doors blocked up, that sort of thing. Don't let people in or, or at least flash a sign on the door that the laser is in use at the time when you're using it because the light off this laser is not good for anybody. Yeah, you don't want to get it anywhere near your eyes or anything like, or any chance of uh, reflective in, up in the eyes, anything like that. It is a laser. It really is a laser. Yeah. So, now, power supply is kind of weird, but I guess we can work with it. Now, the next thing I need to do is, uh, this is the LU2-2 laser. This is the lowest power state laser that comes. Now, you've got, like I said, you've got three all together, but we'll get into that uh, maybe next week, because this is going to eat up a lot of time just going over this. But there's the L this is the light-duty laser. It's going to just sort of, you know, engrave kind of thing. And for a test shot, I'm just going to put a piece of board down or something. We'll throw some scribe uh, something on there for uh, software. And we're going to use light burn, by the way. Just uh, I'll put that up in the uh, description now so you guys can see. Uh, light burn has a 30-day free trial. And it works on uh, Mac, PC, and uh, Linux. So shouldn't have any problem downloading and installing it in your computer. And with Lightburn, you will be actually be able to set up a project and design something yourself and burn it into, in this case, we're going to be burning into a piece of wood with the laser. So, let's see. Next step. They say for the price, this is one of the best ones on the market. It's a fairly easy to use laser. It's, it's reasonable. The piece you're going to get, you're going to find this in the bags with you. This is your part of your setup tool. And you're going to put this on the surface of whatever you're going to burn into. And you want to make sure that this laser, the whole head, the body of the head, is sort of like coming down and just sort of just resting on that. And then we'll lock it. That is the focal point of where the laser is going to be hitting. The screws inside of these fit up inside these slots. So it's a fairly easy assembly. And I'm just going to take that up a little bit so it's not touching the, the wood. In this case, now we're going to put some uh, software in and just rock and roll. Yeah, on another quick note, uh, I had to crank it up to about 80% so I could get this kind of uh, finish on it, whatever, but I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I just set this up today really quickly. So this is all, this has all been done on the fly, a few minutes on software, a few minutes setting the machine up. So I really haven't spent any time with it today. And like I said, next week I think we'll come back and we'll do some more fancy stuff with it, but today this is the low power, very lowest power uh, of the three lasers they send you. And this one is for doing just the sort of thing where it just basically engraves, or in this case burns into the lumber to give you an engraving uh, mark. And I just wrote out something, which of course, <clears throat> what else would I write? Well, there you go. Yep, it engraved. It just shut down to cool itself off. That's great. Okay, so... Yep, coffee and tools. Hey, thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> There'll be links down the below where you can get this fabulous machine. And uh, like I said, there's a lot more it can do than this, but this is just a good example today.